All right, the stars of Prison Break talk about their big return to the small screen in today's entertainment city. But first, someone else is coming back to TV. Drake, here are the beats. Drake is ruling the charts with his latest playlist, More Life. So now it's time for him to return to the screen. Spare me the gory deeds. Thank you. Yep, it's true. A decade after he left acting on Degrassi The Next Generation, the Six God is going back to his roots to play a role in the British crime drama Top Boy. This after he reportedly purchased the rights to the show last year when it was dropped by its UK distributor. Apparently, he's a big fan. One of the show's stars revealed Drizzy met with producers last week to talk about his upcoming role in Top Boy's third season, which is set to hit Netflix next year. Michael, we're gonna get you out of here. It's back. Years after Michael Schofield supposedly died, Prison Break returns with its biggest escape yet in a globe-spanning adventure that reunites the original cast. I caught up with the stars to find out how this reboot recaptures the thrill of the Prison Break fans remember. It's more of the same in that everything you loved about the original incarnation, but it's also different. It's a reinvention, but there is a degree of pressure. You know, you want to you wanna do it right. What does that feel like for you to bring Michael Schofield back? It's it was, been a long time. It has been a long time. <laughs> the character is different now. Not only is he older, but um, he's been walking a uh, dark road. He's yeah. changed. Expect the unexpected. Right? I know. There's a lot of unexpected in it, which is great. Including newcomers yeah. and uh, a new behavior from old comers. Kenya Oltis is one of the top terrorists in the world. They got him in here for murder. Catch the series revival tonight only on City. <laughs> Filmmaker Roman Polanski remains a fugitive, unable to return to American soil without risking arrest after he lost yet another bid to end his decades old rape case. An LA judge denied the Polish director's latest attempt to gain assurance he would not serve more jail time if he returned to the States. 83 year old Polanski fled the country in 1978 ahead of being sentenced for the statutory rape of a 13 year old girl. The filmmaker now lives in France. Authorities there have refused to extradite him. These banks practically destroyed this country and nothing ever happened to them. I want to rob that bank. Let's go get our money back. Three acting icons team up in the remake of the caper comedy Going in Style. Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine and Alan Arkin. They play retirees who, after finding out their pensions aren't going to be honored anymore, decide to rob a bank. Terry Hart chatted with them about their big heist. Congratulations on this. Thank you. It's thank spectacular. You. Well, thank you. I love the fact that all the people who have watched you for decades and decades and decades are going to go on this really quite meaningful journey with these three characters in this movie. <laughs> How interesting is it to find something that not only showcases your talents, but also is saying something about what's going on in the world? That is probably the biggest perk you're going to find as an actor. Mm -hmm, yeah. If something crosses your desk, that has not only some humor, but some gravitas, then that's a real perk. Well, also, you, when you're old, you get scripts sent to you, and, and they're all a load of rubbish. I, I had a script sent to me where the opening scene was, I was in the Arctic, bathing in a pool in the ice. I'm 84. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know these days I look at the script and say, what page did my character die on? Yeah. Oh, I make the page 62. I'm going to take that script. Yeah, remember, if you die, you don't get to do the sequel. Ah, such legends. Tune in Friday for more from those three and, of course, from director Zach Braff.